Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm trying to get my old motorcycle running again. It's been setting up for seven years. That's how long it's been since the last time it started. And so, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic, not even close, but I'm going to do my best to try and bring life back to this wonderful motorcycle. I've had some great times and great memories with this motorcycle, so I kind of like it. I've changed the fuel lines and I decided that I needed to put in a new petcock as well. And that's this uh, part right here. It's kind of like the faucet <laughs> of the gas tank. It allows the gas to go from the tank to the engine. And so it's 30 years old. So I'm just going to replace this one. It was really difficult to turn it off and on. It just goes right into the gas tank like this. Very simple. Now I've replaced all the fuel lines, put in new batteries and new oil and fluids. Now we'll connect the fuel line here. Just like this. Very simple. Some things are simple. And that's on. That's the reserve tank. And that's off. Okay. All right. Well, I want to show you my homemade bike stand. It's the way I can raise the motorcycle up about eight inches. Now it's made out of two three-foot two-by-eights screwed together, one four-foot one-inch pipe, one pipe flange, and a piece of old carpet wrapped around the boards. And it just goes underneath the motorcycle like this, and then it lifts it up. And those few extra inches, about eight inches, are really helpful when you're trying to get down there and work on things. You're gonna have to work on that chrome. Now let me show you how it how it works. It's pretty simple. Now of course they sell motorcycle stands, but I just don't have one. Uh, the Harley only has a side stand. And so you center the motorcycle and you can feel it on there and then just push down on the pipe and it raises it up. Now here I have the front tire up. If you move it a little further back, you can raise the rear tire. I also noticed that these rubber foot pads were coming unglued so put a little adhesive on and try to stick these back down I'd hate to lose one or in fact both of them needed this treatment so I'd, I'm gonna do both of them but I'm not gonna show the other side and I'll just set a brick on here and let that dry then the next thing is to put gas in the gas tank it's been seven years since there's been any gas in this gas tank so this is kind of a big moment. I've got a gallon of premium. Get that in. Well, I sure hope this will start. It's been a long time. Now we'll turn the fuel on, pull the choke, and let me come around and we'll turn the ignition on. Get the power on. There we go. Everything lights up. Let's give it a start. Oh no! What a disappointment. Nothing. All right, let's turn it off. Well, I was afraid that the motor might be seized up, so I pulled the plugs out and sprayed some WD-40 in each of the cylinders and let it set for a couple of hours. Then I got on the motorcycle, put it in first gear, and gently rocked it back and forth until I could feel those cylinders break free. And so I did that, put everything back together again, and now we're going to give it another try, and hopefully this time it'll start for the first time. Here we go. Ah, success. I'm so excited. It hasn't run in a long time. Now, it's not running very good at all, but it is running, and so I am thankful for that. In fact, I'm going to try and take it off of choke just a bit, and it will not run without the choke fully employed and so that means carburetor work and behind this round piece is the air cleaner I'll have to take that off and pull the carburetor out and that's always a lot of fun so I've taken the carburetor out of the motorcycle and put a rag in the manifold this is what the carburetor looks like and I'm going to take it completely apart and clean the jets and check the bowls and all the passageways and clean them up and hopefully get this back in good operating condition. 
Uh, again, I'm not a mechanic, so uh, <laughs> wish me luck on this. So I've taken it apart, and you can see these pieces, and I'm not going to try to explain the different steps and procedures. Now it's time to put it back in the motorcycle, and we want to run the choke tube through to the other side, and then the carburetor just presses into this the fitting uh, in the intake manifold so you just press it in now the hardest thing I had about this carburetor is connecting the throttle linkages there's one particular throttle that uses two e-clips uh, that are just a monster uh, to reconnect and so to help me hold the carburetor while I work on that I have a bungee cord that's just the right size to help me hold this while I get everything reconnected all right, now for the moment of truth. Will it start? Outstanding. That's what I was looking for. Running just fine, just purring like a kitten. I'm so excited. Now I can go for a ride. But where will I go for my first ride? Well, we'll figure that out. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.